If you take a drive through most small towns, small cities today, you will notice a huge absence of stores, businesses. Places are boarded up tight. And everybody blames it on Walmart. Now they're blaming it on Amazon. And yes, they... They are responsible for a good part of that, probably if not all of it. Things started turning around with NAFTA, and we don't make anything here anymore. No products are made here. If you were to take out everything in your home, put it on the front lawn, and only bring in the things that were made in America, you wouldn't have nothing. You might, it might say you're, it was made in America, but I will guarantee you it was made with parts made in China, most items, but you don't see things made in America anymore. But that ain't the only problem. You know, I went today to get a, a chainsaw uh, chain from a chainsaw, uh, look for a few other things, and I have noticed in my local uh, well, it's a True Value Hardware Store, and they're filing bankruptcy. That I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But they don't restock. They don't restock. They did not have the, the right one for my chain. I did finally find it, but it had a different number on it, but it worked. And we had another store here locally that ran the still dealer. They were the still dealer, and the guys retired. And then True Value took it over. And most of the stock is still left over from what they had from the other store. They haven't replenished anything. Same thing with shoes. I had to go to Fort Smith to buy Skechers shoes, which they were a dealer for, because they don't restock. And I know they don't restock. They don't even touch it. Because there was a box I looked at, and I turned a certain way, and I ain't kidding you, I came back two months later. And that box was still in the same spot. Nothing else had been replenished. They didn't have any shoes in my size. And then I went to the one in Fort Smith. It is humongous. I will never, ever buy shoes at my local place again. I would love to do business locally. Today, I got my coffee from, delivered from Amazon because none of my stores here have it. They got that nasty ass Folgers and I hate that stuff I drink instant so I mean I'm guilty of ordering from Amazon it's just easy I live rural it's limited to where I can shop unless I want to drive an hour and so a lot of the things I can get the next day from ordering from Amazon do I wish there were store more stores here would I shop local most likely if I could have it today, but we also have almost a 12% tax rate on items you buy in the store. So that is another reason I do not buy any big purchases here. Those tax will eat you up for one thing. I mean, it's, it's high pretty much everywhere. And you have personal property tax in Arkansas. That's usually not too bad. As long as you don't own, you know, a whole fleet of brand new Cadillacs or Mercedes, you're all right. But the other thing is the people that work in these places in America are snots. They're rude. They're lazy. They don't want to work. They don't want to be there. They're on their damn phones all the time or out front smoking cigarettes all the time. Right out front, man, anywhere I've ever worked, even if it was in industrial, you had to go either in a side alley or the back where nobody could see you. And this was back when you could smoke anywhere, on a plane, on a bus. But they're out front. I can't believe people even still smoke, man, as much as that costs. These young people, I was one of them, but it wasn't $9 a pack. But they're rude. I mean, I'm checking out. I always get a veteran's discount there. Never had anybody tell me I could not get one 
So I get this thing off the bottom of the shelf. It's in a pile with ones that have fallen off the rack. And, I, and, you know, I don't even know how much it is. So I get up there and I say, I'm a veteran. And she goes, oh, I can't give you a veteran's discount because this is on sale. That'll be $28 for a little 12-inch chain. I'm like, yeah, boy, that's really on sale. I need to look on Amazon to see what I could have got. I don't even think you can buy still products on there, but I, I know it wouldn't be that much. And and I said, man, I've never heard that. Never answered me nothing. I mean, they just look at you. They won't answer you because they don't know. And I have used other coupons with veterans discounts before. Never had anybody tell me that. And it wasn't the usual cashier. And it wasn't a kid. It was probably a lady in her 40s just hating life. You know, you, that's, you, you've seen them people. You look at them and they just hate life. They've had 19 kids that they can't afford to feed, and they hate life. They don't want to work, but they're there. And they shouldn't be where you have to deal with a customer. Those are the people that need to be. And management doesn't see things like that anymore. You know, that used to be number one, the customer. But management probably looks at her and doesn't see anything going on, nothing wrong. So she remains up front, but I encounter that all the time, no matter where I go. Uh, the work ethic is, it is non-existent anymore. Not saying there's not people out there with it. There's just not as many people with it. Uh, we're never going to return to those days where the mom and pop shops are right next to each other for a half a mile. Those days will never ever return you just they can't they can't buy their product as cheap as walmart as cheap as amazon they just they couldn't make a profit there's no nothing that's ever going to change that i don't think there's there's one thing that can change a lot of what we got going on today and uh that's war <laughs> i'm not kidding you world war one world war two even the civil war things boom after a war and no, we don't want them, but we're always going to have them. If we were to go to war with China or Russia, especially China, we would be forced to start making our own products again because I don't think we'd be trading with them, would we? We wouldn't be importing products from China. That is probably one reason China has not wiped us all out yet is because we are running their country, you know? Who are they going to sell their stuff to? Who are they going to peddle their goods to if they don't have any customers? They don't want to lose all them massive factories they have there. And they are massive. And they employ a lot of people. Uh, we're just never going to return to them days. I don't care who's in office, what plan they have. The only way we're going back to even close to the old days is we need a pretty much catastrophic event to happen to kind of knock us back a half a century, whether that be war or anything else. But that's about the only thing that's going to change things because the younger generation, they don't know how it used to be going, you needed jeans. Well, you went to Jack's. You know, Jack's had the best jeans. She went in there, got your jeans. Well, you needed some shoes. Went over to Frida's shoes. And they even put them on your nasty, smelly feet for you. Tried them on. They don't do that no more. I wouldn't want that anyway. I never liked I never liked anybody touching my feet. Just leave them alone. But they don't know what that's like or ever, nor will they ever. So they can't, you can't rely on them to return things to the, what we remember as children, how those times were, you know, we don't get milk delivered anymore. Uh, I remember a diaper service coming when I was a little kid, obviously not for my butt, but for my little brother's butt, you know, diaper truck would come cloth diapers. 
he'd get the little turd packs and bring them in. And you can you imagine having that job washing them dirty diapers? I heard they washed them in kerosene. That's why older people are tough. We got kerosene on our crotches and cracks. Why are you tough, says a 12-year-old. Because I used to poop in kerosene sacks. Mm -hmm. We didn't ride no bikes with a helmet either. Jumped ramps. They just won't understand any of that. And they don't believe you. I didn't believe some of the stuff my grandpa taught, told me about what they did. You know. So, we must, I guess we just got to embrace what we have. Because it's all we're going to get. There's, there's never going to be the return of the small shops, the bakeries, the donut shops. Even donut shops now are all franchises everything is either a franchise or owned by china or made in china um man you would you would get stuff made in america back in the day and it would last you you know my dad used to call kmart korea mart because that's where everything was made man we'd be so lucky to have stuff made in korea or made in japan now that was well-built stuff compared to what china makes but we've let it happen, and there's no turning back. So if you think you got an idea of what would change things other than a war, let me know. As bad as that sounds, it has always proven to be the fact, especially after World War II, you know. My grandmother packed bombs in a factory in America for, during World War II. There were no men. There were no men around, not uh, older men, but there were no men. They were all fighting. Do you think that would happen today if we were to go to war? You would have to round them up. They wouldn't be volunteering like they used to. You would have to round them up. Then they would have to be in a two- or three-month program to get in shape or lose weight because they're sitting playing video games all day, a lot of them. That is why the rates are down for enlistments, or they just don't care anymore. So there is a lot of things that need to change, or we ought to might as well just become part of China, because that's where it's headed. We're selling them all the, our land, and ooh, just saw some wonderful news a little bit ago. They have found the world's biggest s cache of lithium in Arkansas. Can't wait for that to start happening. Tearing up the mountains and everything else. And they will. Thanks for watching. Happy trails. Leave me a comment.